Okay, so hello to all audience of Mel Zone Radio Show, that's the name of our show on Oxygen Radio. We are at the Motocultural Festival for the third and last day today, and we have the huge pleasure to be with one member from a band coming from India, from New Delhi. Hello, first of all, thank you for taking time to answer some questions. Can you introduce to our audience? Hi, I am Jayan Badula from Bloodywood. I do vocals for the band. Um, Okay. Yeah, it's cool. You answered the question. <laughs> yeah. So uh, this is the first time for you coming to play here in France at the Motoculture. At Motoculture. At Motoculture, not in France, but at the Motoculture yeah, Festival. What was, what is, what are your first impression of the of the place? You are playing a few, uh, not minutes, but uh, you play. You still play. There was a lot, a lot of people. So what was your first impression? Oh, the French, the French crowd is crazy. They were responding, they were jumping. It was full of dust, but they just like powered through, went yeah. there, participated throughout. I had an amazing time performing, and we are already set to come back. We are ready to just play again. Okay. Yeah. Very, very good response from the crowd, from the public. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, so, can you tell us how did you go into? rock or, or metal music and can you tell us more about the the genesis of the band bloody wood so metal i've been listening to metal since i was 12 i was introduced in an unconventional way where i heard linkin park first then i straight up heard lamb of god slipknot so instead of going the generic route where people go from metallica and over i had a sort of an opposite because i went very extreme and then i explored the roots later on and with bloody wood we started off as a metal band only but our aim was to make sure that we when we release our original music there should be people who are there to listen because every day somebody is releasing their music and it's really important to have an audience if you want to make this a job and not just a hobby so we did a whole bunch of metal parodies renditions what have you from pop to whatever music we could find and then eventually when we had a set base of audience we dropped on our first original okay. so that's where yeah Uh, I, I asked a question about the about the name of the band. I, I, I think having the response, but not sure. Uh, so, uh, who came up with this uh, band name, and uh, did you ever plan to name the band otherwise? I think it was just during a conversation where Karan came up with the band name, and we never really thought that we'll change it because it was a good play on words uh, with Bollywood, where people associate like people know the most about either Taj Mahal or Bollywood. So we just had a good pun with the word and we thought it works so yeah and it works good <laughs> and it yeah. works good uh, okay uh, so you released your first uh, album in uh, february of this year uh rak shak yes. um, can you tell us more about the composition process the songwriting the recording how did you did you uh, have you work for this album so they were we originally decided to just keep on going on with singles but due to the pandemic we already had like a couple of originals out there for people to hear and because there was no live shows were happening and we had to postpone our whole tour from 2020 to 21 which again did not happen and moved to 22 we had an opportunity to write music more music so we we're like instead of just dropping videos and whatnot let's just work on new tracks and then drop them systematically so that we can have an album out there yeah because we didn't have any album the first tour we did in 2019 yeah. was on the back of three original two originals i guess but after the full album we we were like we should make an album because people are also asking for it there were so many comments and messages and what have you where they were like we need an album and then we were like you know what this is the perfect time to um, do justice with the demand of people because i mean at the end of the day okay. your supporters are your you know okay Did uh, everybody is composing, participate, participate to the composition in the band? Uh, so it's Karan, essentially, who composes the music, who does the production and everything. Karan is who plays guitars and flute. So he does the production, he does the arrangement, composition, and me and Raul step in with the lyrics and then we make sure like what part flows best. So it's uh, not a lengthy process, it's actually very interesting to do all of that. So we experiment a whole bunch with vocals and lyrics and then eventually that's how the final product is created. 
Let's talk about now about the, the lyrics, uh, you, the themes uh, in your songs, contents, messages of blocking authority, fighting racism, sexual abuse, and pursuing also your dreams. Uh, how is it important for you in, in your music? So all the messages that we put in our songs, either we have been there in those situations or we know someone close to us that has been there in those situations. So when we write about something, it, essentially it comes from what we feel about it. So, lyrical uh, matter is obviously very important for us because not, we're not just making music about parties or whatever. We want to have music that has a message to it. So, it can be, it, it is a broad spectrum. And as we go on, we will obviously discover new emotions and whatever we feel on the, uh, down the line. But having a message with the music is really important because I, and we actually firmly believe that you can really change the world with music. So, yeah. Okay. I agree. I agree with you. Uh, was it difficult for you to to create this band in India uh, uh, because this is not like in France, unfortunately. Uh, uh, we we uh, the, how to say that you are not a country with a with a big rock culture like in France. So was it was it difficult for you at the beginning? Actually, no, it wasn't because the, everyone that plays in the band is one of our friends through the scene because India has a very tight-knit metal community. So there is a metal community. It's not just as big as other countries. It's growing for sure. And it was really easy for us to just tap out members from like, oh, you can play the drums, you do the bass because they're all friends. Either we have bands together or we're just very good friends. So it was really easy for us at least. Uh, to f get the right members yeah. straight off the bat, yeah. Okay. That's cool, so uh, can you tell us what is or are the bands or musicians that led you to the metal music? For me, it's Opeth, Mashuga, yeah. Lamb of God, Slipknot and Suicide Silent. These are my five, five. top okay. bands, yeah, yep. top band. absolutely. Okay. Uh, let's talk about now the, the, the Covid period, two, yeah. two years, very difficult. How did you cross across this period as a band and also as a human being? So personally it was very hard because I mean we knew people who died because of Covid or were gravely injured and like had a whole bunch of health issues after Covid. We ourselves also got Covid. I like my whole family had Covid so we were just all quarantined together yeah. but once we were done with the whole process of healing we went on to like like I said we decided to work on our album and that's like we were writing everything at our home and then we were meeting together. Karan actually had to like take a few weeks off like he was like I'm going off the grid I won't you won't be able to contact me I'm gonna finish these uh, instrumentals because I'm not get, getting the time to do that so he went out and we surprised him later on on his last day we just dropped there but uh, that's how we did it so he finished the instrumentals me and Raul did the lyrics we sat together again in the studio we stayed there for like three weeks four weeks then we had covid again and then we went back home yeah. then we came back and finished the entire album okay. yeah okay. Cool. Uh, what are you doing in life outside of of the band bloody wood did you have a regular job or are you dedicated or maybe making a living with a band uh, earlier we used to have jobs i was an artist manager karan was a corporate lawyer Everyone had their own jobs, but now we are at a point where we quit the jobs and we are focusing full time on music because okay. right now this takes priority over others. Okay. Yep. So you choose now to, to, to do a prayer to, to the band. Yep. Okay. So we are in France. Uh, what do you know about our country and uh, its metal bands? I mean, Gojira comes from here. I don't have my t-shirt right now because I'm, I'm a huge Gojira fan. Yeah. I, have a, I have a plan that I am gonna like we're gonna keep working hard and one point when we're there that oh we can share the same set I'll be like can I do one song with you your song obviously not mine because mine you won't be able to sing because of the language yeah, of and yours I can because they're in English that that's my plan but I love Gojira yeah. from France plus I know Puta yeah yeah I know okay. so my uh, my girlfriend's French so oh, she keeps cool. teaching me little words here yeah, and there a little, okay. yeah so je, je parle a few the four seconds C'est très bien, c'est très bien, parce que me, I don't speak a word of, of Indian, of Indian, unfortunately, but I can try, I can try, I can learn. Okay, so to conclude this interview, did you have something to add and some words for the French people that's going to watch the video? Um, buy the CDs, listen to our music, it's good, you're going to have fun, and absolutely different also. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much, this was...
the member from Bloody Wood at the Motocultural Festival, go to the social networks, buy the last album, Rash Kak, uh, and, uh, and do a maximum of promotion. Thank you very much. Have fun. Bye-bye.